Okay, so today we're going to do higher order derivatives and induction. And it says find the first four derivatives. Well, let's get right to it then. I'm going to find the first derivative. I know the derivative of e is just e to the negative 2x. Chain rule says take the derivative of the inside function, which is negative 2. So I get 8e to the negative 2x. Finding the second derivative, take my first derivative. Again, the first derivative, e derivative of e to the x is just the same, times the inside function is negative 2. And so I get negative 16e to the negative 2x. Take the third derivative. Again, e to the x is just the same times, the chain rule says times the inside derivative is negative 2, and I get 32 e to the negative 2x. And finally, the fourth derivative, we'll put a little 4 there, the x is equal to 32 e to the negative 2x times negative 2, and that is going to be negative 64 e to the negative 2x. All right, so here are my first four derivatives. And then it says to find the formula for f, this is the nth derivative of x. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to have e to the negative 2x since they're all there. And this one here, 8, negative 16, 32, negative 64, is purely just a scenario of multiplying by 2 each time. So it's going to be 2. Well, I know 64 is simply, well, this is 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, and 2 to the power 6. So the fourth derivative was to the power 6. The first derivative was to the power 3. So it's going to be, I need to, going to be n plus 2. So if the first derivative, that means n is 1. n is 1, and yet I want this exponent to be 3. The second derivative, 2 plus 2. Now, the thing I have not dealt with those is plus, minus, plus, minus. And to deal with that, I'm going to take this scenario, and I'm going to take negative 1, I'm going to multiply it to the power. I want my odd derivatives to be a positive. Even is negative. So that means if I want, I want this to be n plus 1. So if it's odd, this will be positive. If it's even, Sorry, if, it's, if n is the even derivative, then n plus 1 will be odd, which will make it negative. So here is my conjecture for the nth derivative. f nth derivative x is equal to negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 2 to the n plus 2 times e to the negative 2x. This is my conjecture for the nth derivative. That is b part. Now, I want to show it's true by using mathematical induction. For mathematical induction, remember we do have to show it for n equal 1. We have to assume it's true for n equal to k. That's our assumption, our inductive step. And then we must prove, based upon our assumption, that it's also true for n equal k plus 1. So, first one. So, let's try the scenario n equal to 1. So when I do n is 1, I get negative 1 squared, 2 to the 3, e to the minus 2x, which is 1, this is 8e to the negative 2x. And if I compare it to the derivative that I took from before, it is indeed true. 
So that's good. I'm going to now assume true for n equals k, which means the derivative, the kth derivative of x is going to be negative 1 to the k plus 1 times 2 to the k plus 2 is e times e to the negative 2x. I'm going to assume that this is the kth derivative. That's my assumption. And so then I have to prove for n equal to k plus 1 n equals k plus 1. So I, the statement I want to prove is that f to the k plus 1, that derivative is going to be negative 1 using my formula that I've, uh, I get a k plus 1, so it's going to be k plus 1 plus 1 to the 2 k plus 1 plus 2 e to the minus 2x. I want to show that's true. I'm going to tidy this up a little bit, which says minus 1 k to the k plus 2 times 2 to the k plus 3 is e to the minus 2x. This is what I want to show is true. This is what I will have to end up with. Okay, to do it, I'm going to take my kth derivative. If I take the derivative of the kth derivative, that will be the k plus 1th derivative. So, from my assumption, and I have to use the assumption in induction, if I take the k plus 1th derivative of x. Well, this here is just a constant. These are all just constants. So it's negative 1 to the k plus 1 times 2 to the k plus 2 times the derivative of e is just e times the chain rule says times negative 2. Well, this is the same thing. I'm going to rewrite it as such. 2 to the k plus 2 times e to the minus 2x. Well, this is just minus 1 times 2. Minus 1 times minus 1 to the k plus 1 is minus 1 to the k plus 2, since I add my exponents. Times 2 add exponents to the k plus 2. 3 times e to the minus 2k. And so this is the same. I have shown that these two things are the same. Woohoo! Great job. Therefore, by mathematical induction, since the derivative the derivative for k plus four n equal k plus one is true whenever it's true whenever n equals k is true and since n equals 1 is true, f to the power n of x equals negative 1 to the n plus 1, 2 to the n plus 2, e to the minus 2x is a true formula. This is the sentence you need to know for induction. k plus 1 is true when k is true. And since n equals 1 is true, then the general formula is indeed true as well. 
a lot there. You take the first four derivatives to establish a pattern, you guess the pattern, and then you prove it with induction.